Namaskar. Here I Shishang Mishra gives you to the new episode on law and life. Today of the topic discussion is recent Supreme Court judgment on sedition law. The renowned senior advocate of the Supreme Court of India, Subud Markandi, on this. The first question on this judgment is: Supreme Court has heard universal acclaim for its 11 May 2022 order in the sedition case, the like of which it has not seen, been since a long time. Your what is your response on that? the acclamation which the supreme court is getting is well deserved however the supreme court is performing its constitutional duty not for any acclamation this british era law that is this provision in this in section 124a of the indian penal code has been notorious for its draconian nature and its uh, too frequent invocation against the editors and publishers of uh, the nationalist newspapers in those days in their case uh, they were not only prosecuted for sedition but their uh, press printing press and other equipment was also confiscated and heavy fines were imposed on them lokmanya tilak gandhi ji netaji subhash chandra bose and other leaders were however celebrity victims of this law it's a very good sign that government of india is considering its repeal sir it is an interim order please tell us what is in this judgment and in your consideration view what is so important on this uh, so let's go clause by clause firstly this order continues the protection which the supreme court gave on 31st july 2021 to to telugu tv news channels and their personnel what were they doing they were only reporting what one member of parliament from andhra pradesh mr guram rajan said in the parliament criticizing the state government of andhra pradesh now the dig andhra pradesh cid guntur took so much of cognizance registered first information report and started investigation challenging these acts as attempts to muzzle the freedom of press two repetitions were filed wherein respondents were stayed on 31st july 2021 from taking any coercive action so that's the first secondly taking note that central government itself is contemplating the repeal of section 124a that is sedition the supreme court significantly restrained all the state and central governments from registering any fir based on the impugn section or undertaking any investigation or taking any coercive action in pursuance of such fir while the repeal of the impugned law is under the consideration of the central government thirdly if any fir is registered under section 124a the aggrieved person can seek relief from the appropriate court which has been directed to take into account the present order of the supreme court and the clear stand taken by the central government in the matter fourth all pending trials appeals and proceedings with respect to section 124 have been kept in abeyance only trial with respect to other sections can be taken up by the concerned court but only if the court is of the opinion that no prejudice will be caused to the accused fifthly the union of india is at liberty to issue its proposed directive to all the state governments and union territories to get all the fir's under section 124 vetted by a senior officer that is superintendent of police to prevent the misuse of section
and lastly direction will be enforced these directions which have been given they will be enforced till further orders so briefly tell us the amplification of this order sir the implications are very clear section 124a is as good as declared unconstitutional all the proceedings there under have been stayed whether at the stage of fir or investigation or framing of charge or trial the trial of offences other than under section 124 also cannot proceed unless the court records its conclusion that such trial will not prejudice the accused such an outcome is also because the police and prosecution agencies had trivialized the whole process so this order is uh, very well justified see they were trivializing the whole process of uh, section 124a as pointed out by the attorney general during the course of the argument even for reciting hanuman chalisa in front of the residence of a state chief minister section 124a was invoked invoked all in all it's a very landmark order showing that the apex court will not hesitate to enforce the fundamental rights to life and freedom of speech and expression i think it's a very good order so on that note we will end in this session for now and thank you for joining sir mm-hmm.